tomorrow is Thanksgiving and I am making this video right now. Seems a little backwards, but I'm someone who starts playing Christmas songs in the beginning of November, maybe even October. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Hey everyone, it's Diana and welcome, welcome back to my channel. You know what the video is, you've read the title, so I'm not gonna waste any time. Make sure you subscribe, give a big thumbs up if you enjoy the holidays or if you don't. These gift ideas are strictly just like buying things, but don't be afraid to hand make things. I'm probably gonna do a whole another video on DIY Christmas gifts because I feel like those are extra personal. So before I jump in, check out Etsy if you want personalized things, but you're not really good at doing things yourself. All of these things are under $50 and actually most of them are probably like under 20, but it made for a good title, you know, 50 ideas for under $50. And I think I have more than 50, but... <laughs> It's all for the title, you know? So again, if you're not subscribed, please make sure to do so to continue to support me and follow my Instagram if you haven't. It'll be right here. And I love you guys so much and let's get started with the video. I have specific sections for this. As always, I'll leave them in the description boxes of the timestamps for each section. But I suggest you just watch the whole video because why not? Also, I got this shirt from Depop and it's the cutest thing ever. It has like a yellow thing. I don't know. It, it kind of screamed Christmas to me because it's like red. LED lights amp up your room 100% I still even want some of these to go with that There's also star projector and combining LED lights and star projector just makes your room probably look like freaking fantasy A diffuser with oil essentials. My mom has one it smells so good the essential oils There's like specific things for sleeping better stress-free and stuff like that a weighted blanket This helps people sleep because it makes them not move around as much or you can just get like a soft blanket My boyfriend got me a really nice blanket for Christmas Christmas last year. I've been sleeping with it ever since. It's a good gift. Candles. I personally don't have candles. My parents don't allow candles in the house, but probably every other family does, so nice good smelling candle. A robe. I got such a comfy robe from Costco last year for myself and my best friend for Christmas. I've been wearing it 24 7 A Polaroid camera, more specifically Polaroids of your friend, whoever you're giving it to. Maybe like strung up, like this is a little DIY. With that, fairy lights. Those are a nice addition to your room. A phone case or a laptop case. There's lots of great laptop cases on Amazon. And for phones, I know Case Defy Wild Flower Cases. Is that what it's called? Plants. I tend to kill them. But actually, I've been keeping one alive, so it's pretty good for me. But any type of plan, I swear anybody would like it. If they don't, they're kind of a psycho. A speaker for your room or a waterproof speaker too for their shower. And last thing for your room is an Echo Dot or a Google Home. I personally don't have one, but I know lots of people that do. It's like something you don't need, but it's cool. <laughs> Next for clothes, obviously I'm not going to just mention every single article of clothing but I'm going to just mention specific staples that people might want. Crewnecks, like oversized crewnecks have been really in and they're really comfy. A long blazer or just a blazer for the fall. It amps up any outfit a booty with a heel Mwah. just know their shoe size fuzzy socks if they wear bras a nice bra like a nice one, a quality one, you know. A flannel, because that's also another staple to a fall or winter wardrobe. And lastly, a beanie. For makeup, I'm gonna just keep this short because everyone really has different preferences, but I'd say wine, they're really into makeup and experimenting. I'd say the James Charles palette because it's really versatile and it's really good. And it's, I think around $35. Second is a IT Cosmetics BB Cream. This is higher coverage than a concealer, but a lower coverage than a foundation. And I've been using it forever and it's just i think a staple in someone's makeup routine i don't really wear face makeup that often but when i do it cosmetics baby and third blush blush is a really nice addition to someone's routine and it just makes them look all like warm and alive you know a magic bullet which is a smoothie maker any ordinary products skincare products maybe it'd be kind of offensive if you give them some skincare you're like your skin needs some improvement, here you go. But maybe if they were open, 
You know what? I'm just gonna leave that. A there. nice water bottle. I have one from Thermo Flask and Hydro Flask, and those are great. Uh, a Burt's Bees chapstick, like a holiday chapstick set. And lastly, blue light glasses because everyone's on online school and blue light glasses blocks out the blue light from your computer, which harms your eyes. The Tombow brush pen. A journal is really nice. Maybe like a journal with prompts in it or something, but a nice journal for someone to document their feelings in. Mild liners, I know these are really popular highlighters. A planner for a friend that you're worried about and is managing too much and doesn't jot things down. Washi tape and in a mason jar. One of my good friends, Kayla, got me one of these for my birthday. So cute and I still have it on my windsill right there. And lastly, gel pens. We have a mini backpack purse type of thing. I really like this because it's not like a full on backpack, but it's not as small as a little purse. And you carry it on your back and honestly, I just think that's easier to carry around. Um, go on Depop as well. There's lots of nice little backpacks. I recently got myself one. Also a coin purse to attach to like someone's lanyard or a little wallet. I don't think people like the chunky ones. And a lanyard to go with that if someone is recently a driver and they don't have a lanyard or just a nice lanyard. Pendant necklace. Um, these are really trendy and I really like these. I want one of these. Nail polish and specifically from Essie is the brand I really like. They're super high quality. Hair clips, big or little, I actually have some. They've right become now. like a trend recently, but I've been wearing them like my entire life. <laughs> Smaller ones right here, medium one or a big one. Personally, my hair needs the big one to like put it all the way up. Portable charger, literally everyone should have one because you never know when your phone's gonna die. When you've been on TikTok too much and it drains your entire battery and you need a portable charger to charge it. A yoga mat, coffee blend, a tea kit full of like different types of tea. And to go with those last two, mugs or like funny mugs. Reusable straws. There's ones on Amazon that they come in a little thing and you just take it out and they're like bendy. <laughs> and lastly, a reusable coffee cup. I got this for my best friend for her birthday and she's been using it nonstop. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoy. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm grateful for each and every one of you that support me and leave me nice messages. I seriously cannot express my gratitude. With that being said, if you're not subscribed yet, it's, I have to scratch my foot with my ring. This ring is so problematic. It's like pointy right there and it like always gets caught, but it's so pretty. Like, how can I just not wear it? If you're not subscribed already, please be sure to do so. It'll mean the world to me. And turn on those post notifications so you're notified every time I upload. Follow my Instagram again because I'm gonna try to post more on there. Thank you for reaching to the end of the video and I'll see you guys next time, whenever that is. Bye.